Hi everyone, we're in part three of sedimentary rocks and this is big, a part of uh, a larger process of how to get from a source rock, as you see up here, a source rock or a initial rock that has to be broken down. Now this rock could be, um, you know, sedimentary, it could be igneous, metamorphic, so it could be any rock that's on the surface of the earth that is exposed. So it must be on the surface of the earth. Why? Because then it's exposed to the elements, and then what happens is weathering over the course of days, months, seasons, years, decades, millennia, you know, weathering gradually, consistently, so it's consistent, consistently breaks down the rock mechanically or chemically, uh, breaking down the rock either with physical actions of breaking down the rock in small pieces or chemically, which is changing the actual atoms and elements and the bonds and dissolving the bonds and changing the, changing the, the rocks chemically. And obviously only certain rocks are gonna do that. And you're gonna break it down and create what's called sediments, which is part of the rock name, okay? Which are fragments. And then what happens is the smaller bits of rock get carried or transported or moved to a new location through different agents, erosional agents, mostly to do with wind, ice, or water. Water is the main one, as a lot of these uh, sedimentary rocks are formed uh, around water, under oceans, lakes, rivers, et cetera, et cetera. Now, why do we care? Well, because between 70 to 75% of all the rocks on the surface of the earth are sedimentary. The rocks deeper down are going to be igneous and metamorphic. The ones right on the surface that we have access to, that we live on, walk on, climb, build, dig up, move through, that's generally a sedimentary rock. Now, that also is important because we also figure out geologic time also from these rocks and the way that they are formed in a systematic process. This is a process that happens every day, the same uh, process, whether it's today or whether it was four billion years ago. It's the same process that happens to make these rocks. And what happens is uh, it gets eroded, right, and moved by wind, ice, and water. And then once these agents lose their energy, they drop or deposit, called deposition, their sediments onto the surface. And they start to build up and they start to layer. So they start to accumulate, right? Get more in numbers. They start to layer up. And we call this diagenesis. Genesis is the starting point and dia is in terms of uh, steps and layering. So this is the start. This is how to make a... So we're all at the part now. This is the part where, this is where you make the actual rock in the surface. So you have this word, right, diagenesis, which is basically you turn sediments into sedimentary rock through a step-by-step -step process. So we've got to deposition, where you dump all the, uh, the rocks onto a layer of ground. So this is my surface. Here are my rocks, right, different sizes, right? So, okay, these are my sediments. Okay, now, what happens is this could be at an ocean floor, it could be a river bank, could be um, an ancient ocean that's now land, could be a, a coastline that where the sea level has risen or, or fallen, okay? And what happens is, over time, more and more, more and more um, rocks get added up. So you get a bigger, so you get more and more rocks. And the pressure from gravity is going to push them down and they get buried. So the first one is burial. They get buried under new layers of rock over time. So what happens is you get this, okay? Um, you get these layers of rock, right? One layer is like this. The next layer is like this. All right. So 
here is my surface. So I'm going to put a little person up here. Okay, here is my surface. And I'm staying on these different layers, these different layers of rock or sediments that are now being pushed down with mass and pressure. And they're being squeezed. Okay. And so burial is our first step, right? These rocks, these sediments get buried over time under new rock that's been laid above them. So if this is my, um, this is my green rock right here, these are my green sediments, then he, they are right there, okay? And what happens is the next, next thing that happens is called compaction. So the force of gravity, the force of the overlying, the overlying rock, okay, is going to squeeze and compact these sediments together into closer and closer so they kind of stick together. So compaction is the next thing. So the next thing we have is lithification. Now, lithic means rock. Cation means to make. So, to make rock. So, what happens is you have this layer of green rock, right? And it's been buried and compacted. And inside, there are little spaces. The water, the rain, seeps down through the soil, down through the rocks. So it goes through the rock. It carries minerals. So we're back to our minerals again. Minerals like quartz and feldspar. Right? And these minerals go into, into the rock spaces. Okay? Now the next one is called sedimentation. Now you can think what happens. This part, first part of the word, cement. What we build with the, the cement blocks. What happens is there is a natural glue that sticks these sediments together like cement. And the natural glue is our lovely minerals. So the minerals, what happens? The water goes through and the minerals stay behind. And the minerals get squeezed under high heat and pressure. And they turn into a glue that sticks these sediments together. And it forms a solid rock. And what you have is a lovely sedimentary rock because it's made from these squeezed, buried, and compacted pieces of sediment that were eroded and weathered from a, from a source rock and now lay deep underground and they form sedimentary rock. So lithification is where they squeeze together. Sedimentation is where they stick together. Now what happens is, what has to happen it's deep down, right? The deep down in the earth, heat and pressure. The next thing that's going to have to happen to, to access this uh, layer of rock is called uplift. So the actual ground, the actual the area where the rock is, is going to be pushed up by tectonics, which we'll get to in the future, okay? And that will eventually bring this green layer of rock to the surface. So this is how we make a sedimentary rock.